Well, this is a garden update from Nashville, Tennessee, Steve Hall. And uh, I kind of made a conscious decision to do something. We haven't been eating tomatoes, and tomatoes, and tomatoes, and freezing tomatoes, and giving tomatoes away. And I mean, we've just got mountains and mountains and mountains of tomatoes. And they were hanging over here so, clusters and clusters of them. So, and I did leave some of them on the, on the vine. You'll see a lot of great big tomatoes still in here. Tomatoes down here, just tomatoes over here, tomatoes back in there, big tomatoes everywhere. But I did go through, me and Sheila, and we just picked a whole bunch of green ones. Now, there's a guy that, a friend of mine, that actually has 500 tomato plants he sells to the farmer's market, and he said, we pick all our tomatoes green. Now, all these tomatoes that have a little color, you see that little shade of red right there, we're going to let them set and ripen into a nice ripe tomato. The ones that are green, pure green, 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 I'm going to slice them in half, core them out, and uh, going to make relish. I love tomato relish. And uh, with some peppers in there for color, red peppers, and it's absolutely phenomenal. So, and we're kind of tomatoed out. We've ate so many tomatoes that we're just kind of tired of red ripe tomatoes. I know that sounds crazy, but so we're gonna we're gonna make some relish out of a bunch of them. And I pruned I pruned a whole bunch of these uh, branches back that were n not producing anything else to see if these blooms on the top now, because they're just turning bright yellow everywhere, will kick out more tomatoes. And we'll find that out as we go, because I'm cutting out every branch that doesn't have anything to do with anything, kind of an experiment, and see how it works. Now, I got some blueberries in here. Ooh, I see a big one fell off right there. I gotta get him. And I get some nice big blueberries. This thing produced just scads and scads of blueberries, and I thought that it was gonna be um, kind of overwhelming for the plant and then not produce anything. But they keep puffing up one at a time. Here's another nice, hold on one second. I, I hate to do this. I gotta get let go so I can reach down in here. They keep producing some nice little chubby ones. And these blackberries, or blueberries that are in here, are so delicious that I'm really, I'm really happy how these came out. They look like just little sticks with just wads and wads of of little teeny blueberries and then here come all the green growth then it just keeps spitting them out all these little teeny ones that you see here you think well they're not going to get very big they puff up one at a time turn blue so you get kind of like an ongoing ongoing supply for your breakfast cereal geez there's some nice ones back in here too and uh, look at that I have to take them and put them on my cereal and I haven't even dug down in there yet, but I just got like three plants at the store and last year they didn't do nothing. This year they did zillions of little blueberries and then I thought, well, they're not going to put anything out because it's just some little sticks. Then here come all that real nice green growth and I thought, well, that ain't nothing. So then I started digging in through the leaves and goodness gracious, all them little ones are spitting them out. One at a time, they puff up, turn blue, and, get, and when you pick it, it gets out of the way, and the next one to it puffs up and turns blue, and man, they're so delicious. But anyway, that's the update on the, on the tomatoes and the blueberries. And the blackberries, I'm going to move these over to another location, take these big pots and haul them in a trailer. And I'm going to mark which way is north and south, that kind of thing. So I set them the same, because with the moon and stars and all that stuff, they pulls everything back and forth. If you do transfer a plant, make sure that north is still north when you set it back up wherever you're going. I know that's kind of a long story, but that's what I'm doing. But I've pruned a lot of these back. I'm going to prune these all back after they finish up. This has quite a bit of blackberries on it yet, so I'm not going to cut that branch off yet. Then I'm going to transplant them in another area, and we'll see what happens. This has been an update from Steve Hall in Nashville, Tennessee, with mountains and mountains of green tomatoes. Some of them turn a little bit of color. As soon as they turn color, you can't use them for relish no more. So I catch the little ones while they're still green. And... Uh, Saying hi to my brother Larry Hall from the Rain Gutter Grow System up in Brainerd, Minnesota, just for fun. I know this one's going to turn out nice. I got to reach in here. Man, these are these are some nice big maters. There's one. I had to pick them on camera, and there's one. So two great big 
nice green tomatoes and these will change they got a little tint on the bottom but I'm gonna let them change anyway because these are just too nice for for chopping up for relish use the smaller ones but anyway I'll see if I can hold all this stuff and push the button turn the camera off and we'll see you next time bye bye